Chapter 7 It was December, and I was approximately six or seven years old. I remember the date. It was the 14th. That morning was unusually cold, and in the evening the whole town was surprised by the first snowflakes in over 200 years. It was magical. No matter how hard she tried, my mom couldn't make me get away from the window. I looked at the little white things falling from the sky, convinced it was the best thing ever. After a lot of begging, she finally allowed me to get out into the cold and experience the snow in its entire glory. I stormed outside and tried to catch the snowflakes with my bare hands. Even though my fingers soon got numb from the cold, I was laughing and smiling, spinning around and running for a good ten minutes. I wanted to share my excitement with my neighbor, so I hurried to her house. Come in, you'll freeze to death, she said when she opened the door and pulled me inside her warm home. Hello, Baritza, did you see it? Did you see it? I excitedly pointed outside. It's amazing. Baritza filled the tea kettle and slowly walked to the stove. I sat down on one of her squeaky chairs and patiently waited while she piled cookies on a plate. I piss on your snow, she said. You don't like it? Baritza chuckled and placed the cookies in front of me. It's rubbish, useless rubbish. But it's pretty. I felt that it was my duty to fight for snow's honor. It was majestic, and Baritza's words hurt more than they would have if she said something hurtful about me. If you take a photo of a turd from the right angle, it can look nice. Especially if you don't know what you're looking at. Don't let it fool you. Snow is just lucky to look nice from a lot of angles, but it's as useless as it gets. I strongly disagreed, but I couldn't argue because my mouth was now full of cookies. She continued talking, and I barely listened. Snowflakes were still falling, and I could see them from the kitchen window behind her. The snow was slowly piling up on the bushes. Oh yes, the pretty places I've been to, the so-called world wonders, the huge waterfalls, canyons, deserts. Can you imagine looking around and seeing nothing but sand around you? Some would surely call the sight pretty, but no, I never traveled to look at the pretty. Pretty sights can't feed you or tell you stories. In the end, they just don't matter. You can see pretty everywhere if you look hard enough. I traveled for the people, for what they could share with the world, but never for the pretty. Don't let the pretty fool you. Never let it fool you. It's as useless as a turd. Her blabbering was blasphemy to me. When you're that young, most things you see, your parents already saw before. While you're amazed to see a living goat for the first time, most parents look at it like it's nothing. So seeing something that's equally new and fascinating to them makes it ten times cooler. And the snow is new, even to the old, all-knowing Baritza. While I was drinking tea, devouring cookies, and looking at the snow piling up on the bushes, I was having probably one of the best days of my life. I thanked Baritza and returned home. It was already dark outside, and I didn't want to infuriate my mother by coming late. When it was time to go to sleep, I was worried snow would go away while I sleep and never come back. I shared that fear with my mother, and she gently touched my hand. Who knows? Maybe there will be more snow in the future. Some people take it as a sign that mother is recovering, and that's a good thing. Now we know that it wasn't a sign of anything. That year was an exception. It never snowed since. And even though I wrote the date on my wall, December 14th, and waited every year on that same date, looking up at the sky, hoping it would snow again, it never did. Baritza doesn't like snow. That still bothered me, and I wanted Mom to say that Baritza was wrong to offend snow. She doesn't like anything, really. She smiled and touched my nose. But she likes you. She likes you a lot. 
And just as I waited for the snow to fall again, I now wait for Eleanor to come. She never visited me. I don't know why. Is she not allowed? Maybe they told her some horrible lies about me. Maybe she doesn't want to come. I promised her I'd never give up, and hope is all I have left. Hope I'd one day see her again. Hope that she doesn't hate me as much as everybody else does. Hope that she is all right. The way she talked, the way she walked, the way she frowned and the way she smiled, everything she did on Sunrise Spaceship was as beautiful and as amazing as snow, and I would give anything to see her at least one more time.